All right, people, so I'm here with 10 reasons why the brand extension sucks. Now, this could really be anything related related to the brand extension that is affected by it, whatever. So let's just get right, right into the list. Number one, limited feuds. Um, there's not as many options to, to, to do feuds anymore because obviously the people on Raw cannot associate with the people on SmackDown and vice versa. Uh, number two. More content. They they are now forcing us to watch more of this shitty product. Now uh, they're forcing us to watch two hours of Raw. Now apparently there's going there's going to be separate pay per views for SmackDown. So there's more fucking content there. They put the WWE Champion on SmackDown. So they they would force us to watch SmackDown while keeping you know Raw. I mean pretty much everybody watches Raw. But like I didn't watch SmackDown, so now they're pretty much. If we want to see the WWE title feud, we have to fucking watch SmackDown now. So they're, they're like forcing us to watch it. Number three, speaking of that, the WWE World Heavyweight Championship is on SmackDown. Why would they put their main fucking belt on the second show? Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they keep the WWE World Heavyweight Championship on the Raw show? Makes no again. It, it makes. Obviously, they did it to get us to watch SmackDown, but they should have, should have kept it on their flagship show. Number four, the Lesnar and Orton feud is dumb. Now, yeah, you know, you had Lesnar invade SmackDown and Orton invade Raw there. And, I mean, I, I enjoyed that. But, I mean, if you're going to make two people feud, you should have them on the same fucking show so they get fucking cut promos together. That That just makes sense. I, I don't get why they would do this feud when they're on separate fucking shows. It's just dumb. It's dumb as fuck. So, you know, I, and, I, and, I, and for this reason, I'm just talking about this feud in particular. Like, I, I don't get where they're they're coming from here. I mean, I get like, okay, Lesnar, that you know, they both invaded the opposite shows they're on. But, I mean, what are they going, going to do coming forward here? They, they're not going to be able to cut a promo face-to-face, -face, so... Kind of dumb in my opinion. Number five, the Universal Championship name sucks. I mean, they they should have just, just done the WWE Championship and the World Heavyweight Championship. But instead, they come up, come up with this dumb, retarded ass saying the Universal Championship, which they say is dedicated to the WWE Universe. You know, if they want to actually do something nice for us, they should, like, push the people we want and stop pushing people like Roman Reigns who gets booed every fucking time he comes out. I would feel much more better uh, if, if they fucking, like, push guys out that I liked, like Kevin Owens, um, y y you know, people like that, than people like Roman Reigns. Like, I don't feel any more special. I, you, know, you know, guys, you know, right after they named it that, that name, I just felt so special that they, that they named that title after me. No, nobody fucking felt special at all. And if, and if you did, you're a fucking retard for believing Vince McMahon actually gives a shit about you number six smackdown before this and pretty i mean they haven't changed it it's still it was a jobber show i mean they, they've only had the smackdown live now for a few weeks so it, it, you know it, it'll take time to transform it out of a jobber show if they want to do that but it has the reputation of being a jobber show i mean before this nobody fucking watched it or at least i didn't watch it I didn't give a shit about it. it. Didn't seem like too many people gave a shit about it. It was a it was a show that had a bunch of jobbers on it. A show that had a, a bunch of people on it. Nobody cared about. A show that didn't really have any effect on the storylines that were going to play out at the pay per view. So it was it it was a jobber show. So and then they, and then they just put your champion on there. It's like what the fuck? You can't do that. <laughs> Number seven. This is a personal one, but for me. I have fucking classes on Tuesday. Um, for, uh, until I think 9.15. So I'm not going to be able to watch Smackdown on Tuesday. I'll have to record it if I want to watch it. Which I probably will because I plan on watching it. Since again, they have the WWE Champion on there. So it's like you almost have to watch it. So that that's more of a personal one for me. But kind of sucks for me. Um... And and I like I like late classes because I, I hate getting up early in the morning. So I have classes on Tuesday from like one till nine at, at night. Nine fifteen I think is my last class, or nine seventeen it's supposed to end. So uh, well, I will be missing fucking SmackDown. 
and I will have to record it. Uh, number eight, the draft was fucked up. Uh, and one guy in particular, Cesaro, was picked in like the last round that was actually on television. He was, you know, I, I, re I remember listing off uh, uh, some names that he was picked uh, after. And it was fucking ridiculous. <clears throat> you know, he should be picked in the upper rounds. But instead, he, you know, it's like they have no respect for that guy. They, they, they fucking picked him late. You know, just Cesaro. I, I think there were some other people too. But, I mean, Cesaro just stuck out like, why the fuck? You know, what, 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 what a slap in the face. He, he is so talented and they treat him like shit. Number nine, they split up the, the club and the Wyatt family. You know, I, I don't get that. You know, the club, they just came into the WWE just recently. I mean, what? They, they have not been in this company for that long. And they just fucking break them up. Like, why? why? You, you know, I mean, it's not that, it's not a huge deal or anything like that, but it's not like they were together for like two years, so I don't get that. And I don't think the, the, the club is that good. You know, I don't think Gallows and Anderson are that good, so you should you should have just kept them with Styles, because then Styles could kind of outshine them and hide their weaknesses. But but the club wasn't the one. I had more of an issue with the Wyatt family because the Wyatt family. I mean, they just fucking brought them back, and then a month later they they fucking break them up. What? Right after they beat the fucking tag team motherfucking champions. And you think they're pro well? They're probably going to get a title shot. You know, they just beat the champions. They fucking break them up just as they were gaining momentum. Just as I was done calling them the Jobber family, they break them up. What? What the fuck? It just makes no sense. And the last one, this whole brain extension was overhyped. People have to realize that it's still the same writers. It's still the same Vince Dick man, Mick man, excuse me, uh, owning this company. Um, it, it's still the same people. In charge, still the same wrestlers. Yes, they might have changed the format up a little bit, but I, I really don't see it being anything different uh, than what, what we've been seeing. I mean, so I, I, I think on Tuesday, this past SmackDown, um, we we saw a little bit. I think it was the the, the uh, August second SmackDown. We saw. I thought it was actually a pretty pretty good show. So, we, so we're, and also at SummerSlam, the matches are actually matches that contain people that um, a lot of people like, and the, I guess you could say the IWC like, the more hardcore fans like. They just didn't build up those matches correctly, especially the one with Ziggler. The Balor one's better, but yeah, I think the Balor Rollins one will be good. I'm I'm satisfied with that one. But however, the Ziggler being number one contender it was bullshit. But um, because he was a jobber, and then they just put him as number one, number one contender. That was really dumb. Um, but they are showing signs of, at least in the short term, at least uh, you know, in, in the last couple weeks, I guess you could say, um, you know, in, in the short term, they they are improving a little bit. But I, I, this is, like I said, it's the same fucking company, same writers. Just because they change the format doesn't mean it's going to be fucking better. Uh, it, this, like I said, overhyped by WWE. Oh, it's a brand extension, guys. It's so cool. No, it's. I just named off a lot of reasons why it sucks too. I think it's not the best thing to do. Worry more about improving your content, not the format. More about content, less about format. So there you go, people. There's ten reasons why the the, the brand extension sucks.